Blist is the world's easiest database designed for mainstream users. Programmers and database administrators are not mainstream users, yet every database on the market today is engineered for and marketed to programmers and DBAs. Until now, the rest of us have wedged data into Excel and tried to use it as a database, which it's not. Blist is a database for the rest of us. Hi, I'm Kevin Merritt, CEO, and I'm thrilled to introduce Blist to you today. So this is Blist. It's a rich internet application that we hope you'll find both familiar yet refreshingly new. It's familiar from the standpoint that it looks like a spreadsheet, but it's refreshingly new from the standpoint that it's a visual environment that's far more interesting and compelling than just plain numbers, text, and dates. What we're looking at here is a blist containing many of the presenting companies here at Demo this week, and I'm going to use this data set as a prop to walk you through some of the features of Blist. So the first thing I want to show you is this management column. It's a text column, but what's of interest is that there's an, a list of people in that cell. Blist allows you to store a list of infinite length in every cell. Notice also that we have company logos. As I float over them, they fly out. That's because Blist allows you to store photos as a column type in your database. A check mark is a column type in your database. Look here at this column called sector. I'm going to drop it down and you can see it's a pick list of values complete with icons. I created that pick list, I assigned the icons, and I attached it to this list. If you look here at the column next to it, there's a website column. And as I float over it, as you would expect for an internet application to do, it shows me a thumbnail of that website that it points to. Star ratings, a scale of 1 to 5 or 1 to 10, is a column type in Blist. And this column over here is the pitch deck for each of the presenting companies. That's because Blist allows you to store documents in the database as well. Well, this spreadsheet metaphor is great when you want to look at a bunch of companies all at one time, but perhaps you want to peruse them one by one. And for that, Blist has a nice page layout mode. I can navigate through companies one by one, change the values if I so desire, and continue to move through my record set. My Blist also has a column called Launch Date, which is a date, which means it might make sense to see my data cast across a calendar. For that, we have this calendar view, and changing the underlying date is as easy as dragging and dropping to move to a new value. Well, if you're going to store your data in a database, chances are you're going to want to ask some interesting questions. And for that, Blist has a visual query interface. Let's pretend I want to find all companies at Demo that are five-star rated and in the productivity category. So to do that, I'm going to drag the rating category onto the filter canvas, click on five stars. I'm going to go grab sector, which is another column, drop down the list of values and pick productivity, and click OK to execute a query. It's going back to the database now, and it's going to find all companies that are both five-star rated and in the productivity sector. And here we found one company. Well, so far we've, we've been working with an existing data set, and you might wonder, how easy is it to create a Blist from scratch? So let me go through that process. Let's pretend I'm in the HR department. I'm going to create an applicant tracking system. So I popped up the new Blist dialog, and I'll call this Applicants, and I'll click OK. And what Blist does now is it, it carves out an empty database, and it's waiting for me to define some structure. So I'll grab a text column, and I'll call that name, and then I'll drag a photo column. Remember, we can store photos, and I'll call that mugshot, and then perhaps a star rating, which I'll just name rating, and then perhaps a checkbox to indicate whether I want to hire this person or not. So I'll call it hire, question mark, and click OK. And then finally, remember, you can store documents in Blist. So let's grab a document column type and drop it on so we can keep the resume right inside the database. So as you can see, creating a new Blist from scratch is pretty easy as well. There's one more database I want to show you briefly. I'm going to open up my wines database. This database, this Blist, contains pictures of wines and five-star ratings and check marks to indicate whether or not it's in the wine club. But what I really want to show you is this section in the middle. You remember when I was bringing up the demo presenters that I showed you that you could have a list of people in a cell? Well, actually, it gets more interesting than that. 
Blist allows you to have an entire table in a cell. So here I can see all the stores and prices where I can buy these wines. Who remembers typing pools and art departments creating foils? Creating documents, diagrams, and presentations are all functions performed today by mainstream users, but which were once performed centrally by specialists. Breakthrough innovations in usability have democratized those functions, and Blist democratizes the function of organizing data. Blist is the world's easiest database designed for mainstream users. It's as easy as a web list of Blist. Come see us in the pavilion. Thank you.